I've got the FM antenna hooked in. A pair of rabbit ears. But before I power this back up, I'm going to shoot a little bit of keg deoxids into the uh, volume control. When you do this, make sure you've got the uh, set turned off and unplugged because uh, this could form a conductive circuit while it's still wet. I spray a little bit on, rotate the control, wait a little while for it to dry out. Another spritz to flush any debris out, rotate it a bit, then wait a little bit longer to make sure all the uh, solvents evaporate. The control should be nice and clean now, so let's give this another try. Plug it back in. Turn it on. Oh, tubes are lit up nicely. Well, the control's not scratching at all anymore, that's good. I've got a better station to listen to. Seem to be getting a lot more stations now, too. What makes Schomburg Ford do so well? Taking care of your money is all right. There should be a tone control on here. This outer control here. Oh yeah. Hear that? I got much more. All the uh, the highs got uh, knocked out. West of Woodfield Mall on so Golf Road, Kitty Corner from Schaumburg Honda Automobile. So I guess there's just two positions with the control. Uh, the Illinois Lottery released its eighth. They're just this position one and two on the front of the cabinet, and maybe uh, it'd be better to call low and high or trouble and no trouble. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll leave it like this. It's nice to have some high frequencies. So we can find some music. Oh, is that one? It's about not bad at all considering I've only done a recap. I haven't tried to do any alignment or anything like that. I've probably even chucked it in the tubes for that matter. Bad AM reception. I haven't finished repairing the internal antenna yet, but I figured out the, uh, the right lead for the antenna input here, which is going to this section of the variable capacitor, and I've hooked up a, uh, a wire oh, about 50 feet long. And I can kind of get something, but it's very garbled. Very modulated, strange sounder. So clearly, something's not quite right. <laughs> Um, so the first thing I think I'll do, because it's the easiest, is to check the tubes. So far I've only checked the rectifier tube, so I'm going to check the rest of these. Start out with this guy here, which is the 19T8, I think it's called, which is a rather interesting tube. It's an FM discriminator and detector and first audio amp stage. So, since the AM sounds horrible, I thought, oh, maybe the AM detector's bad. So, here is my Hickok Cardmatic 2 tester. I already pulled out the card for this. There's actually three cards for this particular tube. One card for each uh, functional section of the tube. I'll turn it on. Pop the tube in. Okay, I've let the tube warm up for a couple minutes. Should be plenty. So, let's try that again. Definitely bad. That should be way over here for a good tube. 
I'm gonna pull out the other two cards and check out the two sections just for the heck of it, but uh, definitely gonna go digging through my tubes and see if I have a replacement. They tested really strong on the second card. Now I've got the third card in there, so give that a try. That tests really strong too. The, the second section was about as strong. So, I would not be at all surprised if section one is the AM detector and section two and three are the other two, which would certainly account why the FM works fine and the AM is horrible. I'm going to check the other tubes while I'm at it, and then I will dig around for another 19T8. I don't recall ever seeing that tube before, but I also don't think I've ever actually looked for one. Uh, and I did pick up a couple stashes of tubes recently, so maybe I've got one. It took a while, but eventually I dug up a couple used Zenith 19TH to test better. I put the better of the two in, and let's give it another try. Something else I just noticed is that uh, there's supposed to be a dial light here, and that uh, really is not working. So, better check that too. Seems like the same problem persists, so... Yeah. Yeah. Check the FM for the heck of it. Then I'll move on and check the rest of the tubes. Yeah. FM's still fine. curious because if you look at the schematic so many components that are shared by both AM and FM that for one part to be working right and the other not seems weird so I've already replaced this tube so I think the AM detector is okay uh, but they share the same oscillator, mixer, converter, and IF stages, so it's probably not a tube. Could very well be uh, this coil, which is 455 IF transformer for the AM, as is that. But I will check the tubes first for the heck of it, and uh, see what's up with this bulb. I'll check those IF cans. I slid that dial out uh, socket off of the uh, support here and had a type 47 bulb in it which has an open filament. So that uh, takes care of that. I have a few uh, brand new ones so I'll pop that in. I checked all the tubes. They all tested fine. And then I went to put them back in. Got out the uh, tube chart here, 6BJ6 check, 12B6 check, 6BJ6 check. And then I got to the 6BH6. Well, I don't have one. What I have is a 12BA6. And I double checked it, I looked on the tube chart on the bottom of the radio, and that is supposed to be a 6BH6. Now, I don't know how compatible this is, that's the the limiter tube which is used for the FM so this must be fairly compatible obviously it's a different filament rating but with the higher slightly higher line voltages today uh, 6 volt 12 volt that's not that big of a deal but I'm gonna go pull out a 6BH6 and pop that in and let's see what difference that makes 
I went digging through my tubes and eventually came up with a single 6BH6. It's a nice looking GE, I think it might be unused. I pulled out the right card for it, popped in the tester, let it warm up, and it sounds really good. So, let's pop in the radio and see if it makes any difference. I've also got the new uh, 47 bulb installed. So, here goes. I've got a dial light now. You can see it glowing down there. Still in FM mode. Don't want to delude myself into thinking the AM is working. Eh, same old problem. So that uh, what did I say was in there? 12 BA6. Yeah, that uh, must be fairly compatible with a 6 BH6. FM seems to be about the same, with the proper tube in place. Let's see what the dial light looks like. Yeah, you don't get a whole lot. Basically, uh, so label it says AM up here and an arrow points down, FM here and an arrow points down. So I'm not too excited. Another restorer uh, online has one of these radios and his dial pointers in a lot better shape. He took some photos and posted them online and he said he's going to try fabricating uh, a replica of that uh, part that's disintegrated on mine. So I'll be very curious to see how he manages with that. So the FM's sounding great, and AM radios are a lot simpler than FM, so I'm sure I can find a problem.